In an inspiring effort to improve healthcare delivery for expectant mothers in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Rotary Maternal and Child Health, RMCH, led a crucial health sensitization program in the Yimitu community world. Held on July 16, 2024, the event aimed to engage both male and female community leaders in vital discussions about preventive measures to avoid home delivery and unwanted pregnancies. Our correspondent, Vincent Okushi, noted an impressive turnout of women, though fewer men, attended the program. We develop a health-seeking behavior, uh, particularly for pregnant women. The gathering brought together women of all ages who eagerly listened to health experts on how to prevent the risk associated with home deliveries during labor. Despite the events, been organized for both men and women, recognizing that birth challenges affect all genders. The men's absence was felt. This is despite the combined effort of the Rotary RMCH project and healthy families in Nigeria to tackle newborn threats. Addressing the attendees, Rotary Chief Midwife Anato Dan highlighted the routine nature of such initiatives which aim to equip participants with essential hygiene practice and the ability to recognize early signs of labor, as well as educating them on the importance of hospital facilities in managing modern birth issues. A number of women uh, would prefer to deliver at home and we say no because delivering at home uh, uh, happens with a lot of risk. And so we, we do dialogue with them to encourage them um, make uh, informed decisions to go to the health facility and deliver in the care of a skilled birth attendant, that is health workers that have been trained to attend to them because we do not want any woman who becomes pregnant and is um, uh, in the process to lose her life. Chief Nurse Rosalind Edozier of Yimitu Primary Healthcare Center, Waru, spoke about the center's staffing challenges and appealed to the federal government to hire more personnel to meet the community's demand. We record a huge number of clients in antenatal clinic, but where we have issue is in the delivery. Right now, I'm the only nurse midwife in primary health care. Okay. And I see the only nurse midwife that cannot cover morning, afternoon, evening, and night duty. The challenges we are having is that these women, sometimes when they come there in the night, nobody. There's no midwife to attend to them. And if I'm the one coming there, I'll be discouraged. I won't like to go back to that place again. So it's a very big challenge. So the government have a lot to do in that aspect. Sending in more midwife to the primary health care, at least to cover the three shifts, morning, afternoon, and night. So that when they, whenever they come in there, they have a case of delivery, they will see a, a qualified midwife to attend to them. Beneficiaries such as Dauda Ibrahim, May Angwa of Yimitu, Comfort Emmanuel, Zaka Abige, among his others, emphasize the outreach's significant impact on the community and families, expressing gratitude for the valued information and support provided. For we to move to a government hospital, we have to live here to our primary health care. And as we are coming, you see how our road is being. In terms of a uh, woman to deliver, we find it sometimes difficult. So we want to appeal to the government. Let government help us and do something needful to the community. And sometimes, even though we are there, we buy some drugs outside, not inside the, the hospital. So we appeal to the government, let government do the needful. Bed for house, it says, like sometimes it's a risky. Because me, I know, I get some women, where elderly women like this, where when labor start, they will say stay at home. But like me, comfort like this, I, I'm not staying at home. Oh. Because I see many things that happen with uh, my sisters when they stay at home. When they, when they born finish, they will start bleeding. And I lost two sisters because of that. What I learned here is how to prevent ourselves from getting pregnancy when they are not married. My husband's mother is a nurse. She taught me how to live my life because it prevents me not to have early pregnancy and how to take care of myself so that the ones I will, the child that will be born, 
can take care of the second one when I'm not there.